We order delay in the 18 and a half inch step over design. Whoa! Uh, had Elaine fall in the other direction, this video would have had a significantly different outcome. <laughs> Good day, I'm Tim, and today we're going to take a ride on Elaine's new Bike Tricks Juggernaut Hub Duo. But first, I'm going to take you on a tour of the bike, so let's go check it out. The Bike Tricks Juggernaut Hub Duo comes with a 6061 aluminum frame in a 17 inch or 18 and a half inch step through design, or an 18 and a half inch step over design. We ordered Elaine the 18 and a half inch step over design because the geometry is a better fit for her body style and she prefers a more standard mountain bike feel. The Hub Duo comes standard with a 52 volt 17 amp hour battery integrated into the down tube. And for an additional $500, we ordered Elaine's bike with a 52 volt 14 amp hour extended battery that mounts to the top of the down tube. The Hub Duo comes standard with an RST 75 millimeter travel suspension fork, an adjustable stem, a Bike Tricks 500C color display, a 9 speed Shimano trigger shifter with 11 by 34 tooth 9 speed cassette and a 750 watt, 85 newton meter hub drive motor with cadence and torque sensor. It also comes with full wheel fenders, a rack that holds up to 55 pounds, an integrated 100 lumen headlight, and an integrated tail light that is also a lever activated brake light. With the Hub Duo, you can get either 26 inch wheels with 4.8 inch fat tires, or 27.5 inch wheels with 3 inch not so fat tires. We ordered Elaine's Hub Duo with the 27.5 by 3 inch wheels, and we also upgraded to the Tektro 4 piston hydraulic disc brakes to go with the standard 180 millimeter rotors. We also upgraded Elaine's bike to include the Cane Creek Thudbuster short travel suspension seat post. The Hub Duo comes with an oversized cruiser saddle which just didn't work for Elaine, so when I bought a new saddle from my Ultra Beast 2, we swapped out the not so comfy oversized saddle with the stock saddle from my bike. The Hub Duo also comes with some pretty cheap Welgo brand pedals. So again, when I purchased new pedals for my Ultra Beast 2, we swapped out Elaine's pedals with the nicer pedals that came with my bike. For more information on the Bike Tricks Juggernaut Hub Duo and all the Bike Tricks line of e-bikes, I've included a link in the description below. Okay, that's enough talk, so let's put the rubber to the road and go have a good time. Hi, I'm Elaine. And this is Hazel. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. While this wasn't Elaine's first ride on her new Juggernaut Hub Duo, this was her first ride of any significant distance. As I watched Elaine navigate her new bike, I could tell the bike was a good fit after all the tireless measurements we took before purchase.
I could also tell that all of Elaine's extensive mountain biking experience would pay off. Then came a moment that I dreaded the most. Whoa! You okay? You okay? Are you okay though? How did you fall over? Well, I went to slow down to stop, and when I leaned over, I didn't touch the ground. When the bike was so heavy, it pushed me over. Hey, are you okay? Broke your fingernail. Thankfully, Elaine and Hazel were both okay. But Elaine's fall was a not-so-subtle reminder that no matter how much experience we have, we just can't take it for granted. After a quick trailer swap, we made our way out to the bluffs to watch the sunset.
despite Elaine's fall. We had a wonderful day. She loves the bike. And we're going to have a wonderful time on our Bike Tricks Juggernaut e-bikes. Well, Elaine Hazel and I had a great ride today. The Bike Tricks Juggernaut Hub Duo fits Elaine really well. She really enjoyed it. It is a little bit big and she's not used to that as you can see by the fall. If there's one thing I was reminded of is that you always have to respect the size, the weight, and the speed of an e-bike. Uh, had Elaine fall in the other direction, this video would have had a significantly different outcome. So for that, I'm very thankful. All in all, it was a great purchase. I think she's really gonna enjoy it. Uh, she reached a top speed today of 28 miles per hour, so for a hub drive 750 watt motor with 85 newton meters of torque, that's pretty damn good. We hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications, feel free to comment below, and please on your way out, don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate you being here, and we'll see you on the next one.